So I'm both a statistics major and a data analyst intern. And through both of these, I've learned a lot of things that you're not gonna be taught in a statistics major. Today, I'm gonna to talk about three things that you need to know outside of your statistics degree. So the first thing is what I call workflow. And now a workflow is literally just seeing a project or a dashboard or analysis done from start to finish. Now in statistics, you're often spoon fed, easy to use data sets that are already cleaned and you do your analysis and that's it. You make a project on it, maybe you write up a report. However, in the real world, you're gonna be given data that is disgusting. You're gonna see ugly, big data. You're not gonna really know how to get it. You're not gonna know how to get it into R. You're not gonna know how to get it into Excel. You might not even know where to find it. And so until you've seen this kind of process from start to finish, you're really not gonna understand it. This involves everything from cleaning data to accessing data. This is all things that I've learned throughout my data analyst internship that I did not know as a stats major. And so if you wanna gain experience in this, you really, really need to get an internship or some kind of experience, maybe a research position where you're working with messy data. So be sure to do some projects on the side where you're working with messy, unclean data that you can find somewhere else online. So the next thing that you're definitely going to need to know, but you're not gonna really experience in a statistics major is communication. Now listen, I know communication, you probably think, why would I need to know that? Well, it's actually probably one of the most important things that I have to do at my job. 99% of the people that you're going to work with in the future have not made it past the basic statistics course. They might not even understand exactly what a median is. They might not understand a graph that you're showing them. So you really need to be able to explain things in a way that non-statistical people can understand. Now, I'm not saying that you need to really, really dumb it down because if you dumb it down too much, you can completely miss on the point that you're trying to make. And I'm definitely not saying this to talk down on people that don't understand them. It's just our job to understand them and convey the message. Now, of course, with this, there is a huge caveat. Just because you're dumbing something down and making it easier to understand does not mean that you can give suggestions based on non-statistical or non-experimental evidence. Just because a graph shows a trend or something does not mean that one thing is causing another thing. Remember, like I'm sure your statistics professors told you, correlation is not causation. And you don't wanna convey any types of messages like that in your statistical analysis or your reporting. And that is exactly why communication is so important. You need to understand it yourself, exactly the ins and outs of everything that you're doing. And you need to be able to convey it in a way that other people understand, but you're also getting across the message. Now, I will say I'm taking my capstone course in statistics right now, and we are learning a lot about this communication thing. We're doing statistical analyses, and then we're presenting them as if we're presenting to people who didn't understand statistics at all, even though the class is full of statistics majors. However, if you wanna practice something like this, do your projects on the side, but maybe even consider making a report and giving it to somebody in your family or your friends, or even put it here on YouTube and just talk about it and ask if people understand. And then maybe ask for feedback and see if they understand what the message of the entire report was and what your findings were. That can be a huge way that you can give yourself a leg up on the competition when trying to get a job. Now, finally, another thing that you're not going to really learn in a statistics major is the application of what you're learning. Now, in some cases, you're definitely going to learn the application. So I've taken a few classes where I learn how to use R and how to do basic data manipulation and analysis in R. Sure, that's super helpful, and it's a backbone of a lot of what I do now in my job. However, what you're not going to know is how to apply the correct statistical test. You're not going to know how to correctly apply them to real-world problems. Um, I mean, I think this is a huge problem with the statistics major. And I might even make a full video on it. So let me know down in the comments. But there's not enough emphasis put on real world statistical knowledge. I'm um, sure you're going to know a lot about probability. You're going to know a lot about time series. You're going to know a lot about stochastic modeling or random processes. But if you can't apply it to real world information, why does it even matter? Now, this is something I'm still struggling with myself. So please let me know if you are struggling with it too. But if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything majoring in statistics. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and subscribe so you never miss another video.